everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to show you a wear and tear and slash review of my Balenciaga City. Uh, this is in the anthracite color with the regular hardware. And I do apologize for my deep manly voice because I am just recovering from flu. I still have colds. So yeah, I hope you can bear with me. I just want to um, put this video out there because I am planning on selling this. So just to give you an overview of the bag, this is how it looks like in the front and then the side and the back, the other side and the bottom oh and the top part so I got mine actually pre-loved because I've checked Balenciaga's on the pre-loved market and I don't know maybe because it's a full leather bag and because of the 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 material that they use I believe this is lambskin so I saw that um, it wears it, it wears beautifully but there are some things that I don't like about it when it's old because yeah I'll, I'll discuss that in a minute all my Balenciagas I have two uh, this one the city and the town which I had a video on um, both of them are purchased pre-loved. I just don't think that I would pay the retail price. So I just promised myself to never buy Balenciaga brand new. I have her stuffed right now. So I just want to give you quickly the measurements. I know there are a lot of reviews here on YouTube about the Balenciaga city. But... I just want this video to be, you know, an in-depth or a full-on review about this bag. So it's a little, um, the length is about 15 inches. And then the height is about 10 inches. It's about 6 inches on the widest part. And then the handle drop for the two handles is about five and a half and then for the shoulder strap the drop is about I would say about 12 but this has already been broken in so yeah um, let's just take out the stuffings so I'm not really sure um, what year this color is but I believe it is it is called the anth anthracite so originally um, upon searching on the purse forum and on YouTube the original color of this one is like grayish color but after some time it it like shows like the base color I don't know it's a little it's a little greenish so I got mine um, it's actually on a very good condition when I got it but the leather is a bit dried out so I I conditioned it with the leather honey and then after it dried I sprayed it with the apple guard rain and stain repellent just to protect it so the handles have that beautiful whip stitch they call it and mine doesn't have any cracks on it or anything it just obviously has that like um, distressed distressed um, style or texture that Balenciagas are known for and then the hardware is just the regular brass hardware with the tassels. So it features the pocket in the front, no pocket in the back. And then on the inside, 
It just has the black fabric lining. I think this one is cotton, cotton or I don't know. Just has one zip pocket at the back big enough to fit um, I don't know maybe your phone or a wallet and then it has the silver plate that says Balenciaga Paris and it has the model number and then on the back part of that tag has the serial number so I got it with complete with the dust bag and some of the tags but it's missing the tag that has that states the color the year and the material that the bag was made and then of course all Balenciagas have the mirror so um, for the wear and tear I don't see anything that's really you know um, like doesn't look good for the corners it doesn't have when I got it it has like um, some scuffings but uh, yeah as I've said I've conditioned it with the, the um, leather honey so I think the leather still has minimum minimal scuffs but it has soaked soaked up the leather conditioner so it doesn't really the scuffs doesn't really show and yeah it doesn't have smell or anything the hardware is still good i think yeah and the leather has become so slouchy and you know it just crumbles it just it doesn't have really a shape i think balenciagas are very they're very sturdy the leather is it's thin but it's very durable i'm just not a fan of you know really slouchy bags i like structured bags I like sl slouchy bags as well, but this one is just, it's too slouchy for my taste, I don't know. The main thing that I don't like about this is when I use the shoulder straps, it droops down like that. Like when you stuff it, when you have actual things in it, like it has a weight to the bag, when you like when you put this on your shoulder it just droops down like that I don't know it droops down like that right now I just have a pillow in there so it doesn't have much weight in it but when you have stuff inside it droops down a lot and it makes it hard hard for me to get in and out of the bag like the zipper becomes of course since the bag is droopy the zipper is like wonky so it's really hard to, to open and close it I love the look I love the look it's one of the pros and it's one of the reasons why I purchased this but I don't really like how inefficient you can get in and out of the bag like you have to remove it from your shoulder and open the bag or you know put it on top of a counter so you can check or you can get all your things that's the only major major con that I find with this bag um, and it's not it's actually the main reason why I'm thinking of selling this. But aside from that, hands down, this is one stunning, 
beautiful handsome bag because it's you know it's like a model chick or you know <laughs> it's totally my style though because I wear a lot of sneakers and flats so this goes well with a lot of outfits but I just don't like that it does that see it's doing it now even though it's empty but if you just um, use it as a handheld or like on the crook of your arm it looks really good but I'm not really a handheld or a, a handbag kind of person I have my speedy yes but that's different I mean it has structure the quality is good mm, I love the look but I'm just not a fan of you know inefficient bags that it's that's hard to get in and out of it's just me that's my opinion if that doesn't bother you like the major con that I've just pointed out you should go ahead and check Balenciaga and the city but if you are not a fan of that you might as well not get this bag or maybe I think there's a new one that they have just released I think just this year they have the city s or the city small wherein the straps are longer that you can use it as a crossbody mm, it's a little bigger than the mini and a bit smaller than the regular city size so I don't know maybe I should go check that out um, yeah, because maybe if I'm wearing it as a crossbody, it wouldn't, you know, bother me that much to open and close the bag even if it's slouches in the middle. Yeah, that's about it. So those are my thoughts. If I have missed anything or if you have other questions about this particular bag, just leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at personalobsession. So that's it guys. Have a great day and take care. Bye!